How can you sign a whole new squad, develop them under Tuchel, to then go and sack the manager? The manager. The manager. The manager. The manager. The manager. The manager. Well. Where do we start? This morning, I got the news that Thomas Tuchel has been sacked. Thomas Tuchel has been at the club for under two years, about a year and a half now. Let's see what he's actually done for Chelsea, shall we? He's got the FIFA Club World Cup, the Champions League, the UEFA Super Cup. He's done loads for Chelsea. I'm going to talk about that in just a second. But what an absolute joke that is to sack a manager six games into the season. Okay, yesterday, Chelsea did lose to Dinamo Zagreb, right? But they beat Spurs last year. They're actually a decent team. I'm going to be honest. It's the first game of the Champions League and we lost 1-0. Yes, we didn't look the best. But like I said, they're a decent team. We're six games into the season. We've lost two. Yes, we've lost to Southampton. We've lost to Leeds. But look, it's the start of the season. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a comparison in a second. We're going to take a look at Tuchel's stats for Chelsea. So his overall percentage for Chelsea is 60%, right? 99 games, 62 wins, 19 draws and 18 losses. Average points per match is 2.07. To give you a comparison, Antonio Conte, the manager for Spurs, got 1.93 points average for each game. That would make Tuchel better than Conte. Why aren't they sacking Conte then? Hmm? Why is that? It's just a load of bollocks. I'm going to say this with chess now as a Chelsea fan. I don't think Todd Bowley really understands football very well. Yes, you're probably getting angry that Chelsea haven't, you know, they've lost two, get well, three games now, including the Champions League game yesterday. But he sounds like a baby just chucking his toys out of the pram. It's ridiculous. He might have made some good signings in the football club, but I don't think he actually knows what he's talking about when it comes to football. You can't just sack the manager like that and be... Oh, uh. When all the sanctions were going on in Russia and Chelsea were getting massively affected, they couldn't have fans entering the stadium. No one was getting paid except a few players. Tuchel stayed. He kept faith in the club when everything was going on. He wasn't even getting paid his full wage. He is so passionate, well, sorry, was passionate about the football club. And look what's happened. Why is he sacked? It doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. And I, when I saw the news on Sky Sports News on notification on my phone, my mind just went, I just, I, I can't, it was so unexpected. I was really not expecting him to get sacked. You know, he hasn't had the best run in, you know, with the six games he's had. I mean, we've, we've, beat, we've won three of them, drew one and lost two. But is that a sackable thing? We'll talk about that right now. You have to give managers time. And like I said, we haven't had the best start. But let's have a look at last season with Arsenal. So these are the first four games for Arsenal last season. Brentford 2. Arsenal 0. Arsenal 0. Chelsea 2. Man City 5. Arsenal 0. And the fourth game, they beat Norwich 1-0. This put Arsenal at the bottom of the table. Did Mikel Arteta get sacked? No, he didn't. Let's have a look at a few other games. Liverpool 4. Arsenal 0. Everton 2. Arsenal 1. I could go on for ages, right? They didn't have the best start of the season. They were 20th at one point. But how far does this actually go? Do Liverpool now sack Jurgen Klopp because they're below Chelsea in the table? No. No, of course not. And it's messed up. Just look at Chelsea in the Champions League last year. Lost to Real Madrid, yes, 3-1. But the second leg, we came bouncing back. And if the Alonso goal stood, we could have been in the semi-finals with Man City. We came third in the Premier League last year, so how is this sackable? Now, they're thinking of having Graham Potter now as the manager uh, from Brighton. He's good, don't get me wrong. He's done wonders for Brighton this season, especially. But he's good, but he's not quite Tuchel, is he? I physically can't get my head around how Tuchel is sacked. And I think a lot of people are complaining, even non-Chelsea fans. Chelsea fans are complaining, but non-Chelsea fans are like, how is that even fair? It's six games of the season. Look how much he's done for the club. He's won us the Champions League, for God's sake. He nearly got us there last year. Unfortunately, we did lose to Real Madrid, but it wasn't like we absolutely got thrashed, was it? Obviously, we're going to need a manager soon, and it's looking like it's going to be Graham Potter from Brighton. I don't know how that's going to go down, to be honest. Um, Aubameyang's just come in because Tuchel really liked him, and they were in Borussia Dortmund together. And now he said, yeah, welcome, but I'm... I'm going now, I'm sacked. Does not, he's, he's literally seen him for 57 minutes. 
It doesn't make sense. Let me know your thoughts in the comments because I really want to know. I'm actually really, really upset, as you can tell. I'm getting a bit annoyed. Um, but there's nothing I can do about it. Honestly, at this rate, um, I don't think we'll get relegated, but I don't think we're going to get top four. Definitely not this year. Uh, for how things are going, anyway. Um, we are not looking good. We've signed so many players and it's just not working. But I, like I said, it's not Tuchel's fault. It's not. I, I don't know how you can sack him for that. Anyway, I've been Ty. This has been the Blues Bridge. And I'll see you in a bit. Peace.